When have you ever seen a Prime Minister opening up a reply on a very important debate in Parliament with a funny dig at a key opposition leader? When have you ever seen a Prime Minister telling the key opposition leader in Hindi saying that some people may acquire age but would never acquire wisdom? When have you ever seen a Prime Minister using the flaws of the venerable Parliament to convert everything he says into an election speech? Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has done all of the above and doing so has redefined and reworked everything in the rule book where communication is concerned. More than the humor, he has shown how even Parliament can be converted into a platform to make election speeches. I find this very interesting. Having covered many Parliament debates as a journalist, I have never ever seen a Prime Minister who does not hesitate for even a nanosecond to use sarcasm, humor, perceived insult or digs at his rivals. Modi has shown the way to the future where no chief executive of the country would henceforth hesitate in trampling over rivals. Grace, dignity, restraint are all extinct words now. This is a brave new India letting it rip right from the top. So many scams and yet his career is spotless. Only Dr. Sahab knows the art of taking a bath with a raincoat on. This line, as we all know, came from Modi in Raj Sabha against former PM Manmohan Singh. The opposition walked out more in shock than anything else. Previously in Lok Sabha, PM had a go at Rahul Gandhi, who is his pet obsession and target. So whenever the mood permits, RG gets hammered. Modi began his speech using the word bhukamp or earthquake, saying it happened as RG had put the word seva in his version of the acronym SCAM. Modi himself, to hit out at all his rivals in Uttar Pradesh, coined the phrase SCAM or SCAM. I think what the media missed here was a veiled reference to the bhukamp which RG had promised in case he opened his mouth against Modi's alleged scams. So this was a direct payback. Lawmakers say speeches inside parliament should be unspoilt by the harshness of electoral rhetoric, but Modi doesn't believe so. I sense his absolute contempt for many things around him in his speeches in both houses. CPM leader Sitaram Yachuri says on Modi's latest speech, what should have been a reply to a debate on the motion of thanks for the president's address was reduced to a farcical street corner speech, personal insults to senior opposition leaders. Yes, it happened that way. But my point is, what can Yechuri do, or what can RG do, or what can any opposition leader do when faced by this modern juggernaut? Answer is nothing. As younger leaders take charge, the old world charm has gone. There are many stories of graciousness between peers of old. Those are old grandma fables now. What interests me is how far parliament would be pushed to make election speeches or stalling proceedings to make a point. If this trend goes on, who knows? what parliamentary democracy would look like 10 years from now.